I'm thinking again, again. I was trying to get a nap just now, and it never really works for me too often. I got one nap so far in the past year and a half or so. I was thinking about a meeting I attended last week. Last week at the 17th, my youngest daughter's, with my second wife, birthday, along with Jim Brown and Michael Jordan. Gotta throw that in there as well. Today's the 24th, obviously, February 2024. This meeting was about relationships and what people do when they, when they run into the issue with regard to, because it was, it was like close to, maybe maybe they brought up because it was close to Valentine's Day. I don't know, but what what do you do when you're when you're alone? And I I, I didn't share my feelings about that. I I didn't feel like it, I was appropriate for me because I'm so much different than most people. I learned about polyamory in 2017. I'm like, well, that's me for sure. I can definitely love more than one woman at a time, and I, I've, I've been. The thing is, I, I, on the monogamous side, I've been 100% faithful to the women I've been with. Sometimes it kind of sounds weird to women, <laughs> relationships, and you know, and whatever. You don't talk about. It's a recovery group, so our belief is that. They're worried about being alone. They want to be with like, like a relationship with a girl or a guy will heal or fix the matter of being alone. And I'm sure they're horny too, whatever, you know. But our, 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 our belief is helping others is a foundation of our recovery. And if that's true, then why are we looking to look for somebody else to, to get rid of our loneliness so I got me got me thinking for the past week now about my relationships that I've had my first wife and of course my second wife which we didn't have legal papers so we, we didn't want a husband and a wife in terms of the government's institution or whatever so I think I went into those relationships more of how can I love you I really do feel, look, looking back at it, I, I knew, the reality is this, I, I knew, I had full knowledge of what I was in for. And I think looking back at it, I did way better than I, than I should have done or what I would have expected if I was really being rea in reality that they wouldn't stay around, but stay still. We had children out of it. Wow, that's a huge blessing. Wow. Whew. But not just that. There was not one accusation against me by any any woman that I, they've ever felt unsafe, that they felt that I was cheating on them, that they felt unloved, or that I that they they were in second place, that they they were not first in my life. I did receive a letter from my second wife after she left. She didn't. She didn't. I mean, there was no 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 phone calls. Nothing when she left and she was gone. Um, December twelfth, two thousand twelve. 12-12-12. <laughs> all all that was left was a, a note, and it was all about her saying that she had nothing left to give in that in that letter, and that she felt. Like I would kill our children, which that's a common thing that people do. They want, they want to fight for custody, and that's you know I'm giving you a point that I'm gonna I'm gonna fight in custody, and fight in the custody uh, battle, and this is how I'm gonna do this. But never once did she say that she felt that our children were unsafe around me, or us together. Never once did she have any financial. Never once did she say she had any kind of financial fears. Never once did anybody say. Or anybody have any issue with regard to finances, and then of course drugs. That's a big another common one where people break up and they, they just leave or whatever. No, no, not, my drug habits, <laughs> my drug, is happiness, love, joy, peace, gentleness, kindness. 
Never once did anybody could complain about being disrespected. Never once did my alcoholism become an issue. I, I, I drank alcohol. I, I took it out of my diet completely back in uh, August 2020. No more alcohol for me, but I, I did do alcohol in my life. So you can, you can make it a point that while he's drinking, I, 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 you, you were out so much. I, I couldn't find you all around town. I talked to all the bars. They said you were here, then you left and went to another one. None of that. Their gambling problem. That's another one that you hear of. Not another woman. Oh, you can't let go of your mother. You got to leave and cleave. Not a problem, too. Never once. Out of nowhere today, to the 24th, you know, it's, it's a month of love, right? <laughs> it's February. I'm thinking about this, and all of a sudden, just more than ever, I'm feeling like I went into these relationships knowing what I was in for. These women had raging, raging hatred toward men. My first wife... She is come out of a divorce lawsuit, and even according to her own friend, her best friend, the one who referred me to Nicole, referred me to Jennifer. She is not happy with men. She she's she doesn't she all men are the problem right now. She doesn't want anything to do with men right now. I thought to myself, well, she should still feel loved. And I I, I got that phone number. I called her, seven seven zero, and and I felt so happy that she felt calmer felt calmer and. That men aren't all the problem. And I, I, I knew going into that, though, that I already had disclosure, you know what I'm saying? But I still think I came out of it. But all of a sudden, today, I mean, it's just like, I just, whoosh. I don't know, just been past hour. My second wife, Johanna. Five children we had. We had some happy times. But... Oh my God! All th all the women I've been with who have with whom I have children, they had their mothers had raging hatred toward men, and obviously the, the you know Johanna. Her parents cut us off for the first year and a half of our marriage. No, 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 no. We held hands in bed, waking up holding hands, for the first year and a half of our marriage. They cut us off for the first at least three years of us being together. But at first they were all, all gung-ho for us. Like, this is great. Let's do this. Here's some baby clothes while we're at it. We got baby clothes where we met, met in um, New Philadelphia at the Bob Evans from the parents. <laughs> they liked us that much. I, I mean, truly... I haven't seen or heard of any complaints about the love, the way I acted, the way I cherished, respected, revered their physical bodies. They never felt unsafe, never said anything about that. The way I respected their spirits, their own person, the way who they, who they are. To cherish and honor them. So I'm, I'm thinking about this too, like, okay, another thing I've, I've been going through now, I'm wondering to myself, I, I haven't, haven't been in any kind of relationship with a woman like that. Drew really listen Sarah, but I mean, Sarah in Auckland, New Zealand, Takapuna, 2015, we were talking all the time, we were going to get married, but really there wasn't any kind of physical touch I've had with a woman with regard to having a relationship one-on-one. -on -one. Since, uh, yeah, 2012. I haven't, and I haven't been with a woman physically, despite, you know, the one-night stand stuff. But, I mean, the last one-night stand kind of stuff I had, where I can have sexual touch, kissing, intercourse, anything, was more than a year ago, going back to 2012. I mean, 2000, 2022. I'm glad I'm making a lot of errors in this video, because you can see that I'm just doing this right from the scratch. And I'm not editing anything, too. But so I'm thinking to myself, okay, I haven't been with a woman in a long time. Haven't been in a situation whereby I have a relationship whereby me and a woman, we're going to be kind of close. What am I, is it, is it possible that I'm not 
seeing something? Am I missing something? I, I really do desire to be intimate with a woman. Intimate emotionally. I've had a lot of this, obviously, with women through Facebook on um, various gr dating groups, dating sites. Our emotions are high with women who are in Thailand, the Philippines, Singapore, much more sophisticated nations than the United States of America. Women are much more creative with their love, too. It's really cute. So I've been mean, going through this. We can, you can call it a drought, but at the same time, it's just nothing's there. So the way people were, do I need to change things a little bit? I'm trying to like screw this little <laughs> wind it up kind of thing. And I'm thinking about this, with the situation where, like last week. Am I missing something that everybody else is missing? I, I see right through what was going on with regard to people's complaints last week. The meeting where I was. And me, okay, well, what am I missing? <laughs> I, I, I desire, and what's more, it's growing in me more and more. I'm eager to be in a physical, intimate, sexual relationship with women. And I, I'm just, I am truly striking out across the board. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I got to just focus on giving. Give and it should be given unto you a good measure for I'm going to get a running over. Blah, blah, blah. Luke 6, 8, 38. That's not how it works. You don't send a dick pic and get a picture back. I know a lot of guys do that. They think, oh, okay, maybe she'll re reciprocate. <laughs> and I know how the guys, I hear about it, okay? Reciprocity. They try to get reciprocity. They put, no. Just focus on giving and giving and giving and giving. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. Just give and give and not having to expect anything in return. That's grace. That's love. So am I doing that? Yes, I am doing that. I have great relationships with many women. Uh, I'm also reaching out to other people in my disability community, I had a great relationship with a woman I haven't heard from her for a long time. She's got a boyfriend. But um, Emily, you can see the pictures of us together on uh, Facebook. And she's just gorgeous, by the way. She has Friedrich's ataxia. In a wheelchair since 2003 when we met. Well, actually... She may have been in a wheelchair before that, but since we met since 2003, she had been in a wheelchair. The best kisser ever, by the way. But, um, yeah, gorgeous face, beautiful, beautiful hair. Body is just wow. I think people have a problem with receiving, though, too. I'm going to go to this whole dark side again. <laughs> Just receive, receive, receive the, the, the beauty and honor and privilege to give. That is receiving. Whew. I like that. But I want to be in that crowd of the group that they're talking about. They want their relationship. They want this sexual intimacy. They want the feeling of being loved in a re committed, a committed relationship, you know. That's a big hot thing these days, you know. In a relationship, they get to see the thing pop up on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever. <laughs> so, so what, what, what can I do for my community whereby I'm, you know, I got a disability since 1997, symptoms since 93. And then, of course... Where do I fit in with regard to giving? In such a way that I'm helping others as Christ so loved the church, basically, you know. Giving to others as a foundation of our recovery. Or me 
giving as the foundation of my disability. And walking better, my eyesight, you know, being able to see better. Well, I think we've been going for more than 15 minutes, looks like here. It's a long video. Good. I'm liking that. This, I mean, even as I'm making this video, I'm thinking of things to say to add. I, I'm just like, I'm like on fire for this right now. I'm like, this, this, is, this is it. It's not about trying to find that one person. And I've always done that in the past. And I, I see other people trying to do that. They're looking for that one. Why don't you just love every single person? That's my thing anyway. You love everybody. And that sets it all in place. And then maybe you, you would fall into that monogamous relationship, which I look at monogamy anymore. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look right, man. It just, these people are just not, this is not working for people. It didn't work for me in my first monogamous marriage, my second monogamous marriage. And I don't see too many people who are truly happy. Kenneth Copeland and Gloria Copeland. <sighs> That's hot. They are super connected. They're working great together. Creflo Dollar and Taffy Dollar. They're they're really close together. I you can't say much. You can't say enough about Joel Osteen and Victoria Osteen. I, I haven't been around him enough. To, I mean, Terry Savelle and... I don't remember his wife, but Terry's close to... Not Terry. Terry's is his daughter's name. Jerry Savelle. Terry Savelle Foy. She's married. She looks happy. But anyway, go back to Jerry. His wife made fun of him. Like, it, the reason we're doing so good together is because we're not together all too often. <sighs> Stuff like that just turned it off. He's a good friend of Kenneth Copeland. So even though I haven't, and I, I not that I haven't been trying to meet women in the past year, but nothing's nothing's been going. You know, nothing's you know, we might get close to through twenty minutes here. But I all of a sudden have this confidence today that. Not once can anybody accuse me of the drugs, the alcohol, the gambling, the other women, the not able to let go of the mother, not able to focus on, on them. You got a bad illness and you, you kept getting sick all the time and you couldn't tend to my needs. Nothing like that. In fact, it was the opposite. My one, one letter I got, the one letter I got was... I have nothing left to give, and that wasn't about me. I feel like you don't have enough to give. That's why I'm leaving this relationship situation. <laughs> no. Never got that. So I'm doing pretty good, considering, <laughs> considering what I, I, I'm looking at now, the raging hatred that these, all these women and their mothers had for men. I know that I make it. I made it, but the biggest part of it, we had children, so much to the point whereby we must have been enjoying something about that. <laughs>